Don't let it shock you. When they finally get annoyed, they will explode. I saw them exploding. Hello everyone, it's Ishmael and your priest. I welcome you to today's video. Let me tell you that the Lord Jesus meant it well. Get this way, okay? When it was like from the abundance of the mouth, the heart, um, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That is why you will have somebody in your life, all is well. One day you get into a quarrel, you find somebody saying so many things at once. It is not because they are generating those things, but they have been uh, piling them, those things inside of them for the longest. And they were like, one day, one day. And it was whenever they will see, you will say things, they get angry, they hold it, they hold it. Until it's like, that's why the day they get a chance, they explode. Boom. Uh, what is this? Like you will receive some bunch of weeds. Not because they were new, not because of what you have done. If you, che you check properly, you analyze. Some they are even able to mention. It's, and it's not even the first time. You used, and you'll be like, oh, so this person has been writing down everything, but acting like all is well. Let me tell you, the moment they explode, it was a long time coming kind of thing. Okay, now let me address you about also your adversary, your enemies, those that do not like you, those who will hate you. It's also a long time coming type of thing. It's because you, they've been piling things inside and that is when they begin to act. Saul, for example, King Saul, he saw David as a threat to his kingdom. And he was like, eh, these people, these women, they are praising him more than I. You know what I mean? And he felt and he contemplated to eliminate David. In your case, it is the same thing. That is why when they try now to act, it's like they want to put matters into their own hands. Herod, when he saw Jesus as a threat, possible threat to his kingdom, he t decided to place matters into his own hands that is why the moment somebody gets to that point it's not all about what you have done at the moment it's all about them all along being annoyed that is why you will have friends who all of a sudden they stop talking to you there were times in which you could recall that yeah but i could see these signs of jealousy I saw that when I got married, this person never said the thing. Or, for that matter, they never came to my wedding. Or, when I bought a car, they acted like they didn't say it. Or, no, 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 no. The time where they said what they said is all because it is annoying them. They are tired. Now, they want to eliminate you. Now, they want to do something about it. That is why, don't take it lightly. It is a long time coming type of thing. That is why in, the, in this world, world, in these things, you will have people who are regarded as enemies. Who God wants to protect you from. Who at the moment, moment they are just pretending, but in their heart, they are speaking. Were you aware that the Lord God, he also judges the, 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 the talks that goes on inside the heart? That is why even when you are going to heaven, you are in the spirit, he will, the conversations you also have from inside, they count the same manner in which you, they count when you are speaking them verbally. That is why you may have people who verbally tell you they love you, but inside they say, I hate you. Is there a difference between the two? Words are physical and inside they are spiritual. But they are all coming from the same person. You know what I mean? Right now, I can tell you that I love you. And inside, I just say, I hate you. You know what I mean? This same thing, does it mean I really love you because I said it with my words? No, words are only for you to understand what I'm thinking and what I'm saying inside. from inside. That's the only thing. But then I can say words and they remain in me and I don't bring them out for you to know. I can keep them. So my, 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 my mouth only gives you what i want you to know out so that you can understand if i keep it inside you will never ever know a thing 
You know what I mean? But then it starts from the inside, then it goes out. And sometimes it can be deceptive. You might think just because it went out, it is the truth. No, I can generate fo false info and I give you what you need to hear. And inside, I keep the real info inside. But if I can love you inside and I tell you verbally, then it is complete. I really love you. That is why they get to a point of eliminating you. That's why they can no longer hold it. That is why if you were to discern, you were going to stay far from them as early as possible. Because the end of it all is going to, they're going to try to eliminate you. The end of it all, they're going to explode one day. The end of it all, they will all together stop talking to you. It is not a one day type of thing. It has been there all along. You just couldn't see it. When he came into your life, he knew that he was lasting over you. Maybe he might change his mind in the way, but originally, if the la last drove him there, after his last has been satisfied, it is too easy for him to run off. But if he came because he felt love, he felt like he wants to commit, it will be easy for him to make his intentions more clear. I would like to marry you. If she was there for the money, you give her money, she gets it, she goes to you. Remember, it's because he never came for you. Yes, verbally. I, yes, not that I want money. I want somebody. No, 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 no. But you can see that if it does not speak about money, she does not say a thing. She does not have time for me. If she's to see me, she wants to know what she's going to get in return. If there's a counter way that, that comes with money. You know, and uh, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to, uh, no, you can see. Hence, some are, the wise are able to judge that this, it will end in tears. This will backfire because already the foundation is bad. That's why they say, hey, we, the house that is built from a bad foundation, yeah, it can go on for some couple of months. But when it falls, it'll be like we told you. But when the foundation is strong, when it falls, you will even be like, what? How possible? No ways, no, there must be. Maybe it's a hand of a person. It can't be if it's like this. Now, I want to tell you that in the name of Jesus Christ, all those that are eyeing at you, that are in the process of eliminating you, King Saul was in the process of eliminating David. He was trying by all means. You have those in your life that wants to eliminate you from your work, eliminate you from your financial freedom, eliminate you from your marriage, eliminate you from anything good. They will not succeed. I pray from, may the Lord protect you from each and every individual, be it physical or spiritual. Who wants to eliminate you? All their plans will fail. I decree and I declare in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And remember, you can book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.